we have established that there will be seven no movement days. And these will be the Jamaican government have implemented seven no movement days as the country battles the COVID virus. Hi again and welcome. This is Link Sublow 7 TV News Report, and we'll be right back with the details to come. Welcome to Link Sublow 7 TV News Report, providing you with the best in local and international news updates. This is a place where you can get the most reliable and informative news information. Link Sublow 7 TV News Report. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. This is Link Sablo 7 TV News Report. With a rapid increase in COVID-19 deaths, infection and hospitalization since August, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, the Most Right Honorable Mr. Andrew Honis, has tightened the COVID-19 measures, including seven no-movement dates to curtail the surge in the virus cases likely caused by the deadly Delta coronavirus strain. Speaking at a digital press conference on Thursday, Mr. Honis said that the new measures will include seven no-movement days, meaning the curfew will span the entire day. We have established that there will be seven no movement days. And these will be Sunday, August the 22nd, Monday, August the 23rd, Tuesday, August the 24th, Sunday, August the 29th, Monday, August 30th, Tuesday, August 31st, and Sunday, September 5th. No movement days means just that. On those days, the curfew hour is, would be 24 hours. The entire day, no movement on that day. Two periods of no movement that will effectively break the transmission of the virus. Now, this is what we hope will happen. But if people decide that they're not going to follow the advice and direction of the government and decide that they are going to go about their business. And all of this would be in vain. Worst of all, it would be in vain for those who follow the orders because they would have made the sacrifice for it only to be destroyed by those who don't follow. So this works if everyone cooperates. And I'm appealing for everyone to make these no movement days a success. But we know our Jamaican family. We know that there are some people who don't care and who say it don't affect them. So, you know, very selfishly, they will be going about their own business. For them, the police will be on the road and they will be, they have been given clear instructions, clear instructions. The days on which the 24-hour curfew will become effective are Sunday, August the 22nd, Monday, August 23rd, and Tuesday, August 24th, and then again on Sunday, August 29th, Monday, August 30th, and Tuesday, August 31st, and again on Sunday, September the 5th. People will be required to stay home on all these days. In relation to the nightly curfew outside the no-movement days, for Wednesday to Friday, these will be 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. For the coming Friday, August 20th, the curfew will begin at 9 p.m., on Saturday at 8 p.m. Other measures are currently being revealed by the Prime Minister, Mr. Andrew Honis. Earlier, Mr. Honis said that Jamaicans were feeling the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic with family members losing loved ones while others are facing the likelihood of losing their homes due to the academic hardship. Despite these challenges, he reiterated that the government has balanced both lives and the livelihood as it instituted various containment measures. However, he stated that the island's case numbers were unacceptably high and the rate of hospitalization is beyond the capacity of our health system to cope. Now, the normal curfew hours, which would then apply to the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday following these no movement days, will be 7 p.m. nightly until 5 a.m the following morning on days other than no movement days, except Saturday, which will be at 6 p.m. Uh, I hope I'm, I'm clear with that. So the, the, the 
the days following the no movement days, which would be um, the Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday would be seven, and then the Saturday would be six, which is what obtains now. However, to allow persons to prepare for their three consecutive no movement days on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, that is from August 22nd to 24, we will start the curfew later tomorrow, Friday, August 20th, and Saturday, August 21. So we understand that the lead time is short, and when we tighten the hours, as would be expected, you know, everyone is going to shop in a precautionary way. Let me get an extra this and an extra that, and let me go to the supermarket, even if I don't have to, just to be sure. And so you will have some congestion on the road as everybody tries to get home or try to, to get the last minute supplies. So we have considered that and we have extended, but just for this Friday and Saturday, we have extended the hours to, to allow persons to be able to stock up for the no movement days. So tomorrow, Friday, August 20th, the curfew will begin at 9 p.m. And on Saturday, August 21st, the curfew will begin at 8 p.m. So to be clear what this means, on Saturday, August 21st, the curfew will begin at 8 p.m. and continue through the rest of Saturday, the entire day on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, and end at 5 a.m. on Wednesday, August 25th. This will be repeated the following week, starting at 6 p.m. now, on Saturday, August 28th. Also, to allow persons to prepare for the three consecutive no-movement days, tomorrow, Friday, August 20th, and uh, on Friday, August 27th, workplaces, businesses, will be required to close at midday. Our workplaces, our workplaces, our businesses will, there are some workplaces and businesses, sorry, that will not have to close at midday. And these are the courts. They can remain open to their normal working hours. Establishments providing uh, the following services. Security services, financial services, our banks and um, other such services, transportation services, obviously health services, including pharmacies, optical and dental establishments, uh, the National Water Commission, the JPS, oil refining, loading, distribution, and retail of petroleum, our gas stations, and so forth. They will remain to their normal opening hours within, of course, for gas stations within the curfew hours. Uh, public works and sanitation, firefighting, civil aviation, telecommunications, and obviously food, supermarkets and wholesale stores and corner shops, they can remain uh, open until the curfew hour. Uh, the loading and unloading of ships, storage and delivery of goods and docks, wharves, warehouses, etc., those are critical to the continuation of the supply chain. And those critical to the operations of the government, including the TAJ, for those who don't know the, the, the tax authority, uh, the Jamaica Customs, PICA, the Jamaica Printing Services, etc. Obviously, the funeral homes would remain open, um, farm stores, and uh, the BPO sector. Now, despite the extended curfew hours, we want the vaccination program. This is very important. Despite the no movement days and the extended curfews, we want the vaccination program to continue. Certain vaccination sites will remain open during curfew hours and on no movement days. Persons with appointments to receive a vaccine will be allowed to do so during curfew hours. Persons will be required to present evidence of the appointment. They can show their text message if they get one or the email. Um, they, if they're going for their second shot, they can show that their vaccination card. 
Um, and uh, obviously, this is not uh, a wholesale extension. Uh, your direction of travel must be going to a site. The police will know where the sites are, obviously. And uh, you can't tell the officer at 8 p.m. that you're going to the vaccination site. As of Wednesday of this week, 559 persons were hospitalized with respiratory illness. Of those hospitalized, 100 are moderately ill and 36 are critically ill. We'll have more details to come on this in a developing news story. Thanks for watching. This has been Links 007 TV News Report and we say so long for now.